Hey everybody, Steve Nixon again with FreeJazzLessons.com. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Okay, as you guys know, I've been working really hard putting all kinds of new lessons and new content for the premium membership version of the site. So today, I thought it would be fun to share with you guys another snippet of what's coming. So what we're going to learn now is we're going to learn some really sweet scale and improv techniques over the Miles Davis tune, So What? Uh, these techniques I'm about to teach you can be used not only on So What, but they can be used on all kinds of other jazz standards as well. So this lesson is really going to be beneficial for you. All right, enough introduction. Let's step over to the piano and get started learning. Thanks. All right, so there's really a lot of different approaches we could take uh, improvising over this tune. But in today's lesson, we're just going to focus on three important scales. Um, the scales we're going to learn are Dorian, Melodic, Minor, and the Blues scale. And I'm going to show you guys how you can use them over So What. So the reason why we're choosing these scales is they're fairly easy to play and understand, and I can get you making music with them pretty quickly. Okay? All right, so the first scale we're going to take a look at is Dorian, all right? And the theory for this, if we were in the key of D, the notes would be B, E, F, G, A, B, C, and D, okay? So this is scale would be 1, 2, flat 3, if we were going to compare it to major. So flat 3, 4, 5, 6. Flat seven, because in major, this is our major seven, so flat seven, and then one again, okay? So there it is. All right, now the next chord in so what is E flat minor, so here it is over E flat, same theory, okay? So the notes are E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, and then E flat again, okay? So that is your Dorian scales for so what? All right, guys, now let's take a look at melodic minor, okay? Melodic minor is actually very similar to Dorian, but there's going to be one note difference, okay? So before we had, which was Dorian, but now instead of having a C, we're going to do C sharp. And the theory in this is one, two, flat three. There's a major third, so flat third, four, five, six, major seven, and then the root again. So if you guys are sort of familiar with melodic minor from classical theory, this is different. We're gonna, we play it a little differently in jazz. So in classical, melodic minor is, and then it descends down into natural minor, but we will not be descending. We will be using what is called the ascending version. <laughs> Uh, both up and down, okay? So that's what we'll do there. All right, I'll quickly teach you now the, uh, excuse me, the scale notes in uh, E flat, okay? So here we are, we have Okay, so E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat. And uh, it's the same theory as we had it in D, okay? All right, guys, so the last skill we're gonna talk about before I kind of throw them all together and start jamming with them is the blue scale, okay? So the blue scale is very easy. The notes in D are B, F, G, G sharp, A, C, D, okay? And the theory is one, flat three, four, flat five or sharp four, okay? Five, flat seven, okay? And then D, all right? So, so yeah, there's a reason why they call it the blues scale. It sounds pretty bluesy, okay? So over E flat, the notes are E flat, G flat, A flat, A natural, B, D flat, and E flat. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put on a jam track and start mixing and matching these different scales together. Um, you know, I'll, I'll create little melodies and use the scales as source material for my improvisation. And I'll point out each time when I'm using the different scales. So, let's take a listen. One, three. 